Alright, so guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say that throughout the weekend, I'm going to be doing a huge sale with G Fuel. If you guys use code SENSOR40, you will save 40% on G Fuel. And we're also going to be putting in $10, $25 worth of GNC cards in random orders for people who use the code. So absolutely just murder that code throughout the weekend. And let's get right into this video. What's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another fitness video because the last one did so well. So if you guys want to keep seeing these videos, just keep absolutely just smashing the like button, watching them. Like, you guys watch this, I'm going to keep doing this because I love making these videos. Today, I'm going to be going through my back and biceps workout and what I actually did was literally do my exact workout. I just had Nick from Gamma film everything that I did and I cut up all of the best exercises and movements and I'm here to give you some of my tips and, and some of the things that works for me and I'm not claiming to be know-it-all of everything and, and like I know everything about working out I just want to show you guys what works for me so you guys all know I always start off my workups workouts with um pull-ups dips and push-ups so that's what I'm doing here and if you guys noticed in the past I used to really go fast with my movements and I started to extremely slow down what I do and start, start getting really tight squeezes so if you guys see here I'm going moderately fast doing these pull-ups, but I'm really trying to get a squeeze and hold it for like a half a second before I go down. And I know many of you guys probably can't do pull-ups, and this might be a little bit too advanced, but it's okay if you guys can't. There's probably some sort of a machine in your gym that can help you. And if not, then just try to do some push-ups, try to get a little bit of a stretch in before you work out because it is really important. And I'm probably going to make an entire video just on stretching and showing you guys how to warm up properly. But this is just something I've been doing for years, and this works for me. So if you guys are able to do this, all, all the friggin praise in the world to you so I like doing these push-ups as well so I'll do normal push-ups I'll do push-ups on a bench so I'm getting like kind of a different angle when I'm warming up then I'll go into my workout so what you guys are seeing here is me doing kind of like a stand-up bent over row with a machine so it makes it a little bit easier to hold it I don't really have the best lower back I've always had problems with it the best thing I can recommend for you guys when you do something like this is always see how I'm pausing at the top and getting a squeeze by the way, I'm doing a superset, so I, th I started with the closer grip, and then I went out to the wide grip. I know a lot of gyms probably don't have this machine, but when you do this, try to go on a really low weight and get your form down first, and just get a really good squeeze in your back, and just focus on that, and make sure your back is straight and your legs are a little bit bent over, and this exercise here is one of the best exercises. As you guys can tell, I look like I'm about to shit my pants, as you guys saw in the first picture. Everyone was commenting, saying that swamp ass. This is what the swamp ass comes from, guys doing these rows so if you guys didn't know I just started off I did two sets of dumbbell rows on each side really getting a good squeeze and a contraction then I went right into my final part of the superset and that's what I really focus on in this workout is just getting a superset if you guys don't know what that term means it's basically doing two different movements back to back without any without any break and I'm not talking about Drake and I'm not a rapper so I'm, I'm just gonna shut up now but I'm doing some overhead dumbbell um, raises over my back so it kind of works like the back part of your upper back in a sense and it's just a really good movement to have and and like I said once you get to the top of that movement always get a good squeeze the most important thing with any lift that you do especially back is getting that squeeze so you can see from this angle here I'm really taking that pause at the top and I'm squeezing and it's gonna cut over right about now no okay it's gonna cut over now no Okay, I'm really screwing up on this. But as you guys can tell, it's going to be cutting over to a side angle about now. Come on, cut over already, damn it. All right, there we go. It cut over to the side angle. And you guys see my back is back. It's arced. And I'm pulling the weight from where the furthest point my arms go in the workout. So you guys see, I'm not putting the weight all the way back down. I'm arching my back. I'm pulling it out. And I'm just going as far as my back extends me to. And I'm really getting a good squeeze with it. And then this... It's just something I really finish off my back with. It's it's just a sit down row backwards. There's only so many movements you can do for back. The most important thing you guys need to know is just getting a really good squeeze and just pulling something. It doesn't matter if you're pulling your body, doing pull-ups, doing a dumbbell row, doing a machine. Just get on one of these machines and start going. These are just some of my favorites. And you guys can see the swamp ass there. You're probably going to make a comment about it. But now we're going to be moving into biceps. And this is just so simple, guys. Everyone always asks, like, dog, you, you have freaking monster arms. Are you on juice? Are you on roids? No, I don't take this is just how I genetically am and I do a lot of bicep curls I think the simplest things are the best things and that's why they're so cliche that's why they're so popular simple bicep curls guys I'm using pretty lightweight I could definitely do more than this but again this is my first set so I always want to start off low I always want to get really good squeezes you guys can see I'm controlling the weight all the way up and I'm also controlling it when I'm going down completely flexing my arm like 
like it's gonna be my last time I ever lift a weight in my life like I am squeezing all the way to the top all the way to the bottom and even when I'm not curling the weight I'm still holding my arm extremely tense like I'm grabbing a butt for the last time in my entire life I don't know where I'm going with all this stuff I'm just improvising this all off the top of my head but now we're moving on to a little bit more of a I wouldn't say this is an advanced technique but a lot of gyms might not have something like this it's just simple though it's just taking a curl bar doing like a curl with my arms close in and I'm keeping my elbows in towards my stomach but my stomach's out a lot of people say to flex your stomach and flex your core but for an exercise like this I think it's okay to have your stomach out and just try to get the movement and now we're moving on to some hammer curls and this was crazy so I'm going back and forth with 40s and I'm doing four on each arm and then as you guys see right about here I start to do something different I hold my left arm up and I'm squeezing the crap out of my left arm and I'm doing four dumbbell hammer curls on one side then I hold my right arm up squeezing it and doing it on the left side this will blow your arms up really fast I highly recommend this as you guys can see like I am struggling and then I do four on each arm and then I do four at the same time my arms are dead after that so if you do like three sets of that with lightweight and then like a little bit more weight for two more sets you're gonna be feeling it like crazy and then I like to finish off with something really simple just like a really nice upper hand bicep curl you could do this even with dumbbells sitting on a bench but this is just really just to get a burnout after i did all that heavier weight earlier in the workout and my back is already on fire my arms are already on fire from everything so i try to get a couple of different movements i did some hammer curls some regular curls some straight curls like up and now i'm doing kind of like a reverse curl which really works your forearms and it's a little bit harder to do but once you get the hang of it i think you guys are really gonna and like this and i hope you guys could try some of these workouts and, and these tips and let me know in the comments down below if this works for you Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys do enjoy this. If you guys get anything from this at all, if you're going to start working out, if you if you think these tips are helping you, please show me by leaving a like and commenting down below what you guys think of it. And once again, I'm going to be running a 40 code with G Fuel throughout the weekend. So you can save 40% on G Fuel using code Sensor40. And G Fuel actually hooked it up with 10 gift cards of $25 each to GNC. So what we're doing is for everybody who enters this by using code Sensor40, we're going to be giving away 10 random gift cards in random boxes of G Fuel to 10 different winners. So that's really exciting. I hope you guys enter this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm also going to be announcing the winners of the 10 other people. I'm messaging them right now. I'm waiting to hear back from them. But I'm going to be at the Cleveland Cavs game right now as you guys watch this. So I'm not going to be looking at my social media for a day. But I hope you guys all enjoy this. Absolutely smash the like button. You guys know this already. I'm going to share $100 with the last 100 people who like the video. So smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sims from Martin, and I'm out guys peace they talk a lot of shit but they barely back it up come through heavy but she leave mad as fuck phone blowing up i'm waiting on the bed i don't want to argue man i really want some head shit will go down if i don't get my money fast enough feeling on her ass enough she say i'm too crass and rough and i just keep my speakers knocking